Okay, welcome back to the home of Crybaby Performance on our 160 build. This is a UT 2.5 and the bearing is pressed onto the crank. So we're going to show you how to get the bearing off. The first one I did, I heated the bearing uh, with my heat gun and um, it didn't really come off any easier than when I didn't heat it. So on this one I didn't heat it <clears throat> and um, it pulled right off It's not a very tight fit. It's um, When you measure the um, crank and you measure the bearing, it's only about a half a thou Pressed fit. So we went to Harbor Freight and we bought this um, Tool it was relatively cheap It has a small bearing puller and a large bearing puller and believe it or not the large bearing puller worked better than the small bearing puller. And um, we assembled it onto the crank and it took very little pressure to pull the bearing off. Once we got the bearing off, we then chucked the crank into our lathe and with just a piece of 320 sandpaper, we sanded the crank um, and we checked it several times to get the bearing to slip back on but we didn't want to have to hammer the bearing on there. Um, so we got it to be a slip fit and it tightened up near the end. And then we tapped it on with a piece of pipe um, to get it to set um, onto the crank. The old UT um, ones and early UT twos, it was just a slip fit onto the crank and Honda changed this in their manufacturing. Okay, we just wanted to show you how to get the bearing off and thanks for watching our video at Crybaby Performance.